one short, and he's got a putt. 999 goals, Buddy Franklin. The legend becomes a mortal. There's a reason why he's kicked a 1,000 goals and nearly had 2,000 shots at goal. So I think just the, the athleticism of someone that size, power, is, is something extremely impressive. I remember against Collingwood when he did that hurdle and then, what is it, he kicks it from like 70, 75 metres out. Stratton run down, Franklin with a hurdle, and then the long one, this will be something. It is. It's an MCG special from Nutty. I'll never forget when he kicked 13 against us down in Lonnie. It was a dark day, but it was also like a, just a day for a footy lover, just being like, well, what a superstar, just at his peak. What was it, like, 13? 13. <laughs> He's a freak. I think when anyone asked me what was it like to in that forward line or in those golden eras, I just referred to, well, we didn't really even need a forwards coach at the time. Whether Bud would listen in a forwards meeting, I don't know, because he, he knew he'd go out there and he'd just put on a show. And he's that guy that can just turn a game of football. He can kick three goals in five minutes. I think I've shared the same memory as a lot of Hawthorne supporters and footy fans. Him running down the boundary against Essendon, a couple of bounces and kicked a goal. Uh, it might have been a couple of times he did the exact same play. I remember, I remember that quite vividly. Picks it up towards the wing. Buddy Franklin goes back. Advantage is paid. It's a one-man back one. He's away, running down towards the 50. Can he do it again? Man running back towards the goal square. Needs to be closer. He can't bounce it through. He kicks it through on the ball. We started out together at Hawthorne, so it's been pretty special to be able to be on the journey in Sydney with him and be part of some big moments he's had up here and you know have front front row seats to the to the buddy show on the way. The first player since Tony Lockett, I think, to kick a thousand goals in this modern era. This to put the Hawks in front with just a few seconds left in the elimination final. <laughs> I remember watching him when I was young and it was the elimination final against Crows and he kicked the goal from 60 and just watching middle-aged men jumping up behind him in the crowd. It's one of the greater moments and then ball went back to the centre and the siren went straight away. That's when I look at Buddy. I love playing him, I love being around him when I'm out on the ground. I hate ball going near us but I love being just in the era. I, lo I love Lance since I since I was a kid. I think he's probably the greatest player to play in our era. Consistency of him being able to do it over over so many years and, and to kick a thousand goals. I mean, well, that's that's never going to happen again. I just think that whole 2008 season that was just insane. They won the flag. He kicked over 100 goals and he kicked over 100 points that year as well. Yeah, it'll go down as one of the all-time great seasons. It's been a real privilege to watch him go about his career, buddy. I was really lucky to be at the Carlton Hawthorne game in 08 when he kicked his 100th at Telstra Dome at the time and ran on the ground. So um, I enjoyed, yeah, enjoyed watching that day. I've had a pretty good record on him from, from my career because of how anxious and prepared I am for him. But I've had a few moments in my career where I've said something to him after keeping him pretty quiet and the next contest he like kicks a goal from outside 50 on a snap and lets me know about it. So I learnt early in my career not to say anything to him. Oh, well, I see Bud every day so he's definitely the best I've ever seen growing up and now getting to work with him sit alongside him every, every day is pretty special. It's, it's good for me as a young player coming in to have a mentor like that. This is Buddy Internally with myself is like it is what it is really. It's a it's a great milestone. It'll be something I'll look back on when I finish my career and be extremely proud of. Couldn't have done it any better, buddy Frank.